a little bit of exploration here. We are checking up above an old road. Lots of uh, mining history here. We just found this buried under the moss. Looks like a pretty old bottle. Limited 13 United Distillers, Vancouver, British Columbia. Pretty interesting, you can find lots of old things here. Looking at grab samples here on the side of the road. You have pyrite, minor metzocalco pyrite. In a slightly schistose volcanic tuff, maybe a rhyolitic tuff. Just a little ways away from a couple samples here. There's a small little test shaft it looks like a few meters deep looks like they're following a uh, quartz vein previous sample of this quartz had really low values for gold so we're just going to search in this area pretty steep so we're gonna do a little bit of hiking just exposed a quartz vein here that was uh, moss covered maybe a little bit of magnetite in there but uh, looking pretty vacant for uh, minerals You got uh, schists there in between uh, your host rock and the actual vein. Host rock is a uh, porphyry rock, is a little more schistose over here. So you have a quartz vein, doesn't appear to be mineralized, over here, more quartz, looks a little oxidized, maybe some magnetite in there, I'll take a look. Small little showing here with uh, Minor amounts of sulfides and minor magnetite. Here's one sample. You have calcopyrite there with your magnetite. A little bit more calcopyrite in there and pyrite with your magnetite. So, just thought I'd point this out. You have a schistose rock here. You have veining right here. So this is a good example of checking your contact zones. Right on the other side, right there, that's porphyry. So, contact zone, always good to check because a lot of times you'll find something that's there. Always get to check because sometimes you'll find a surprise. In this case it's a mineralized vein. We have a small little area here where you have a couple sulfide stringers. Looks just like uh, mostly pyrite. 